So thank you, Hans, for this very nice uh, talk and uh, great overview of what has been uh, done during this conference and uh, what you propose in, uh, in Canada. This is great. I'm just doing uh, how talks uh, are complementary, I guess. We talked about it. Uh, France had the uh, great idea to do this uh, quantitative analysis, if we can say so. And uh, yesterday, uh, with Marlene, I don't know where she is, if she's still here, no? Uh, we asked you to uh, send us your uh, brief notes of what you heard uh, during uh, oral sessions. So I have the same bias. Uh, and you very kindly responded to us. I received uh, lots of emails and also uh, paper-based uh, paper uh, notes. So thanks a lot. Uh, I did my best to summarize what uh, you, uh, you sent me. And uh, I'm going to give you this qualitative analysis. And uh, based on what you said, this is really complimentary. Yeah, really, we like it. <laughs> So I'm just going to fix this. So first of all, Canadian people used to apologize and French people are used to thank. So uh, I would like us to thank you all. Uh, I hope and we all hope at the in the organizing committee uh, that you enjoy this conference and also our city. Uh, I know that for some of you it was the first time that you came in Lyon and I hope it will not be the last time that you really enjoy the city and really enjoy the conference. We enjoy to welcome you and we will be very happy to see you in, in Quebec or in other uh, cities. But it was a great pleasure for us, so thanks uh, to you all. Some statistics very quickly. So we had uh, 260 participants uh, coming from 23 countries with 153 oral communications, uh, 100 posters, 10 workshops, one symposium, uh, one French speaking session, and one, uh, one French informal meeting, as uh, you, you saw. So we took, we didn't have time at all. To, to do uh, a video, uh, but we took some pictures and we would like to share them with you. Uh, these are uh, photos uh, uh, that we took uh, this morning uh, at the poster session. Uh, this is uh, the French speaking network uh, that met uh, yesterday and also on, on Monday uh, p.m. And uh, I know that lots of, I don't know how you uh, to call them, but tweeties or twitters, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but this morning, and thanks to Julien, I have the statistics uh, from Twitter, and uh, more, we will say, two million impressions uh, on Twitters uh, and using, you know, the ISDM uh, 2017 hashtag. Uh, <laughs> I try, I, I'm not on Twitter. I, I am, but I don't use it, which is not really good at all. Uh, please forgive me. But uh, just uh, to say that we have uh, 263 participants uh, and uh, a top five, uh, Julien told me, exclusively feminine with Holly, with Catherine Cerizet, with Giovanna Marsico, uh, and no guys, no men. So feel free, men, to go on to it and uh, try to, uh, maybe there is a kind of gender effect, I don't know, but uh, maybe. So do not hesitate to go, but really lots of uh, tweets, and uh, this is really great. So uh, hours of discussions, thousands of ideas for collaborative projects, uh, on different topics, I, the, the list will be very long, but on uh, transcultural decision aids, on e-tools, on implementations, on policy briefs, etc. Um, as uh, 
uh, France said an amazing and a great night at l'Abbaye de Collonge. And of course, sure, and we saw, and I was able to, to saw you. I was not able, and this is really a frustration for me, to attend to oral uh, sessions because uh, I, I was busy. Uh, but uh, I saw your smiles, and it was uh, really, uh, really great for me. So thousands of smiles and uh, official and non-official pictures of Lyon and you. Uh, these are some pictures of our great dancers. Uh, you will recognize uh, yourselves, and uh, uh, this was really, really a, a great moment. Uh, there is also, and thanks to Gillian and uh, uh, his co and colleagues, uh, some very nice uh, photos that you took uh, just, you know, uh, in front of the welcome desk. And uh, you know that we decided. Uh, to uh, <laughs> to give uh, um, a kind of present to uh, the best uh, uh, picture, and so we decided who will be the best picture. Da -da. <laughs> <laughs> Come in, the three guys. On the picture. So, Victor, <laughs> we have a present for you. I, I think you don't want Victor. Something to Victor eat and to travel to with. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Diet food. <laughs> Diet food. It's not uh, lion yen food, but congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for playing with us. Just enjoy. There is one for each of you. I don't know if Victor flew back. He went to Paris. Yes. Oh, he went to Paris. Oh, yes, yes. He it's has not so Lyon food, but he can tra yeah. you can travel with it. Oh, you okay. can travel yeah. with it. Or yeah. if there are still some Victor's colleagues uh, here, they can yeah. bring it can to bring him. It. But uh, congratulations. Uh, merci you know, there is a gender effect, <laughs> not on the street, but on the front. We'll get it to Victor somehow. Uh, Thank you very much. Yeah. You. You're welcome. So, uh, we also received <laughs> the special issues, and it was, uh, it was nice to be able to give it to you wow. yesterday. I hope you all have your journal. If not, uh, Pauline just told me that we still have some uh, 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 journals. Uh, so if you, you want to take more to share with colleagues, uh, do not hesitate to come and see Pauline yeah? at the welcome desk and, uh, or, or there. I don't know. There? There. And uh, we will be uh, very uh, happy to uh, offer you uh, another, uh, easy, uh, another uh, journal. So just to finish some key messages based on the qualitative analysis uh, that uh, I was able to, to make uh, very uh, quickly. Uh, as you know, the topic was uh, where are we now and where do we want to go? So it seems to be clear that uh, we are uh, working hard, all of us, on shared decision-making measures, on shared decision-making training uh, among physicians, among nurses, and with patients. Lots of uh, oral presentations uh, were focused on that topic. It is also clear that we are working a lot on decision aids and on shared decision-making and person-centered care. Where do we want to be and to go? Uh, it seems that we need more studies on mental health. Uh, I saw, I don't know if she's still here, but uh, Shula came and talked to me. And uh, she told me that she thought she was uh, the head of the symposium on, uh, share, on um, shared decision making in mental health. And uh, she thought it was a pity that there were not so many people doing uh, uh, the, the, the symposium and that uh, studies uh, and uh, work should be done in this area. You said, uh, France, that uh, lots of uh, works has been done on elderly uh, patients. And uh, it's true, but it seems that these are quite, quite brand new ones and that we still have to work on that topic. Also on hand of life, 
health literacy. We started to uh, work on that, but uh, more work is needed. On clinical practice guidelines and shared decision making, uh, we say that during plenary sessions, we should be more focused on the role of family and caregivers. On shared decision making and health policy issues, we have great examples from Netherlands, from Canada and from other countries and it's true and sure that uh, we'd be able to share experience if we want to go further and to incite uh, uh, public decision makers uh, to uh, be involved in shared decision making. Uh, also, more work is needed on transcultural adaptations of decision, decision aids and more generally on shared decision making approaches on he health and quality criteria, uh, and especially on digital literacy from both the patients and the healthcare professional sides. Uh, we also need to accelerate shared decision making, health intervention, and evaluations. And uh, I had lots of uh, feedbacks, and I was really happy to see that uh, because I had the same feeling uh, that we uh, do not work a lot on beliefs and emotions. Uh, these are words we are working on the uh, values, on preferences, on attitudes, on behaviors, but very, uh, we, we, we don't talk a lot and we don't really uh, take into account, I think, enough. And it was written on a, a, a sheet of paper that I received uh, on beliefs and emotions, knowing that they're just central in the physician patient encounter. So, the other key message based on uh, all these points is that um, we should not forget the relationship. Uh, the complexity of the communication, we all say that uh, during uh, the conference, how complex it is to decide. We saw that yesterday within us, uh, how to decide if we create an association or not, etc. So, and it was just, it's a, a simple issue, it's not a very complex one, but uh, uh, it seems to be. Or, and not, uh, to close ourselves in standards, in criteria, in clinical practice guidelines, in norms, and making uh, people think that shared decision making is the new norm. So, as Amiham said uh, during the opening session, we should avoid any kind of premature closure. Uh, I also received some propositions uh, for the next ISDM conference. Uh, the first one, and this is what we talked about yesterday, is to work on an international shared decision-making network, creating a website, an association, or any other uh, tool or uh, uh, something that will help us to, uh, to share more and to work more in close collaboration. To work, to work more with patients, even if we already work with patients, we need to more involve them in our research. And this is something also uh, I uh, have been told yesterday, uh, to open more our research community to clinicians and more generally to healthcare professionals. And this is something uh, really I think we have to keep in mind, uh, not uh, to be so research focused and more open to clinicians using workshops or role plays uh, reflecting real life situation because the impression that is that we were really talking uh, between researchers and for researchers and less for uh, healthcare professionals who need more, you know, practical uh, um, methods or examples of shared decision making to know what it is, how they can do. Uh, so this is something uh, I would like to underline. To finish, uh, just like France said, and uh, I think you will know what my preference is for the future. I really like this family. This is my family. Uh, so. This picture is just great. Uh, we will share it together. I added some, uh, you know, <laughs> photos of people who were not in the picture because they were in an oral session. And people also, uh, Trudy is with us. 
uh, but what we took the picture, unfortunately you were not here, so I added your picture, Dom uh, was not here, Mike apologized, uh, apologized, he really wanted to, uh, to come, but unfortunately he had a, a personal uh, a problem uh, last week and he sent me an email to apologize. And also Kirsten was not with us. Sorry if, if I missed other people, I might, uh, but uh, this great photo is just this half family and uh, I hope uh, that this family will, uh, uh, will be able to, uh, to meet in the future and to exchange. Thank you. And Martin will also like, yeah, yeah. Yes, that's one taken, Nora. Thank you very much again. I think uh, clapping hands again for Nora is, would be the right moment now. Thank you very much, Nora. Really great. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Woo! words about our workshop so the family here knows what we have done. We had an intense workshop at lunch for one hour and a half as uh, decided in the so-called founding group for membership and association. We had an intense discussion about the, the next steps to do and we have probably a quite tight schedule uh, because we think it could be wise and good for the group to have kind of written proposals for all of you in uh, fall, so October, maximum November, to have something written with a kind of a, uh, an idea what's the legal and financial issue of an association and so on. So we keep going. The working group uh, has already you know, separated in different working groups, so we, we will collect ideas and we will let you all know. And the, the second point was it was already mentioned for the next conference there was also discussion and we are very happy that we had already an offer from Canada and uh, the idea of the group was to invite also other places to say yes we would be keen or we would like to to, uh, to host a conference so the next steps would be to circulate maybe an idea where to have the next conference and de decide together uh, where and what's the best place uh, for the next conference. That's what I want to read report from the status of the group. Thank you very much. And that's it. Thank you. And at the end of the show, the organization committee was very happy to welcome you in Lyon and say uh, goodbye and have a nice trip back.